Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where let me tell you guys, today today is a very, very good and happy day uh, in Wayne Sharp World because I finally am able to get my hands on a grail that got away. A, a, a grail that I didn't know was a grail until I actually got it in hand, and then it was too late. It was gone. It was sold out, and I wasn't sure if I'd ever be able to get it again, but... Thank the heavens, there was another run made, and dropping today, March 15th, at 2 p.m., we are talking about the return of the Jack Wolf Knives Gunslinger Jack. Let's go. This is one. Okay, quick story here on this knife before I open it. Um, when it came out last year for the first time, I immediately thought it was amazing. Uh, but my knife budget just couldn't quite support the purchase at the time. And I just froze. I wasn't able to get one on drop day. They sold out really quick at a lot of places. But there was a few hanging around for a little while. But then once the word got out about just how amazing this knife was... Um, they sold out pretty quick. I remember trying to go to DLT trading to get the last one. Uh, and it was, it had like this type of like pink fat carbon or like pink or like bright purple. It, like it wasn't purple. It was definitely more on the pink side. Um, that was like the last one available and the, I went to go get one and they even sold out of that. So yeah, pink's not my color, but I was so desperate. I was ready to buy a pink one to, if that tells you anything about how much I like this knife. Um, let's dive in and take a look at the amazing packaging and then talk all about this knife that is seriously one of my all time favorite knives. I kid you guys not. I just, I love this thing so much. It is a grail. It's a lifer for me. It's never going anywhere. Um, this is it in all the glory. Here is the can, the gunslinger jack, um, the amazing artwork as always. Let's take a look at what we got in here. Of course, you got the theme of the pog, you got the cloth, you got the stickers, and then right down in there, it's always hard to get, or actually, no, just upside down, dummy. Um, yeah, you got the filler tab in case you want to take the clip off, but where's the knife? Well, there was no way, there was like no way in hell I was waiting to uh, take this knife out of the container because the moment I got it, it uh, came out of this and went into my pocket, and now we can take a look at it. And this guy right here is a thing of beauty. This and everything about it for me is just, it's just perfect in its own way. Uh, amazing design, open or closed. Just look at the lines on this thing. It is gorgeous. You pop this blade out. Ooh, the sounds, the action, the blade feels so light, and it it's really not a super thin blade. We're looking at a blade thickness of 119,000, so um, pretty average blade stock thickness, but man, oh man, the way this thing flies out, I mean, just look at it. I, I, I can't say enough good things about it. This is literally one of my favorite knives of all time. Um, easy top 10, very good chance this one would fall in the top five. Um, of my all-time favorites. But before I uh, gush any more about this knife, let's take a look at some overall specs on this beauty right here. We have an overall length coming in at 7.35 inches, a blade length of 3.23 inches, and a blade thickness at 119 thousandths. We are looking at S90V steel with a very nice, very good looking clip point blade and an extremely nice hollow grind. The consistency of hollow grinds on Jack Wolf knives is second to none. When it comes to production, I have not seen better, amazing consistency in the quality of hollow grinds than I've seen come out of Jack Wolf knives. It is like darn near custom level. It, it's amazing. Uh, we have a handle length of 4.12 inches, handle thickness at 472 thousandths, we are looking on this specific version, titanium with gold dark matter fat carbon. And it's just so perfect to the disperse, the dispersion of the gold in the fat carbon. 
man, oh man, it is just a thing. We'll get as close as I can here. Just a thing of beauty. I love dark matter. I've said it before. I'll say it again. It's my favorite type of carbon fiber. Um, we have a bolster lock for the locking mechanism, a user of a right hand only tip up carry, or of course you can put that filler tab in and carry it like you would a slip joint. Uh, we have a weight at a nice and light 2.9 ounces, a price of $349 and 99 cents. Um, and like I said, this is going to be available in one hour from the time this video uploaded. Uh, but to be specific Friday, March 15th. 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific. Uh, get them all the gettings good, guys, because these are going to sell out quick. That's the reason I uploaded this an hour earlier. Sometimes I upload videos the moment the knife drops, but I know this one is going to go fast, most likely. I'd be shocked if these didn't sell out pretty quick. So, um, so yeah, so I uploaded this video an hour early for all you guys to give you a little bit of a heads up. And, of course, I'm going to throw it out there because it really does help the channel. If you do use the link in this video, any of the links down there, I do get a little cut. It's an affiliate link. So that means a lot to me. It really helps support the channel. So if you can do that, I'd appreciate it very much. Uh, let's take a look at some size comparisons on this perfect, perfect little front flipper here. Man, I freaking love the Gunslinger Jack. It is, uh, it's, it, we'll call it legendary. It's amazing. Uh, let's see here. Here's a Civivi Elementum. Uh, just some nice average ones here for you. A Hodeca, that's actually probably going to line up. Yeah, the Hodeca is actually a pretty darn good comparison. A little more hanging down in the butt there, uh, but a nice comparison nonetheless. Do I have anything else that is worth... Oh, <laughs> this guy right here. Uh, the Jack Wolf Knives. Oh, gosh, I think it's the After Hours Jack. I think, I think it's the After Hours Jack. I'm going to feel stupid if it's not, but I've gotten used to that, so <laughs> I'm not going to let that hold me up. Uh, and what else do I have here? Uh, here, a little budget knife. Got the, uh, the Kaiser Clipper here for you. Um, so there's your size comparisons. Some amazing little front flippers right there. Love all those knives. But the Gunslinger Jack, I gotta say, and I, and I do love this, like I said before, I believe After Hours Jack. Um, I love this one as well. But for me, for me, factoring in everything, the Gunslinger Jack is by far and away the best Jack Wolf knife ever made. And it's gonna be really hard to beat this. Um, as you guys, as I've said before, I really do love and appreciate the slip joints coming out of Jack Wolf knives. They are second to none. Um, they're the only slip joint to have ever really gotten me excited. But at the end of the day, I still am always gonna get more excited about a good uh, locking, manual flipping fidgety type of knife and this thing is everything it's locking it looks great the action is phenomenal on this and the blade oh the blade let's just talk about this here we are looking at 19 thousandths behind the edge that wicked wicked hollow grind that is super thin uh, a really, really nice, thin, minimal fuller up here that makes it really easy. I couldn't believe the moment I flipped this, I, I couldn't believe how easy and effortless and satisfying that was. Because um, I didn't really get to handle one of these until I believe it was, I believe it was Blade Show West. I'm pretty sure Blade, yeah, Blade Show West last year. Uh, was the first time I handled a Gunslinger Jack, and I was going to buy it, and of course there wasn't any for sale. Um, so yeah, that sucked. And then when I heard that it was going to be a while for the next production run, then I got a little like low-key angry because I was like, gosh dang it, Like I, want, I came here to buy knives, and this is the one knife I really, really want to buy, and it wasn't available. So, so, so happy to have this guy in hand finally. Just a beautiful blade shape, kind of a uh, a classic blade shape made a little modern with all the right fidgety things. Nice jimping up here. And of course, a front flipper tab that is easily reach around approved. Everything's good on the blade and it doesn't get any worse. It only gets uh, equally as good, if not better, on the handle because the shape of this handle is just so nice for me. So easy how my index and middle finger wrap, wrap around on the thinner area up here. And then at the back, it gets a little thicker here and it's just so so good in hand love everything about this design it's it's a little different it's out there in terms of like handle shape um and just the that clip point blade it just everything goes together so well really nice simple but effective clip here like that little gold there i wasn't sure if i uh 
if I would want that gold or just the color of the, the, the titanium, the raw blast titanium, but I do, I am, I am a fan of the gold, especially with that backspacer, uh, works really, really well and just executed to perfection. I don't know what else I can really say about the action. I really love this little beveling they did in here because this, this is one, the one area that gets a little, I would say a little, a little weird. You have to know where to go, but the beveling here just makes it so easy to where you can naturally find it. So once you notice that bubbling's there and you feel it, you just, you naturally go there and it's so easy to break that lock and that blade. Oh my gosh. The blade feels, the blade feels like it's like no weight in the knife, but that detent. Oh my God, that detent is just perfect. Such a satisfying knife. Um, and I mean, yeah, for $350, it should be that satisfying, right? I mean, that's a lot of money, but I tell you what, I have no regrets about this one. Um, I, th this is one of the few knives I'd consider buying two of because it's that stinking good. I really, really loved, uh, they have uh, like, I think five different versions. They have this gold dark matter. They have a beautiful, I think rosewood or diamond wood, some type of wood scales. Then they have a purple, it's like a marble-ish type of like wavy material. I, can't, I think it's a, a, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, but then a couple other fat carbon versions, but man, oh man, guys. This is the this is the Jack Wolf knife for everyone in my opinion. Uh, I God, I just I can't stop gushing about it. So I'm just gonna kind of slowly wean down to the end of this video because I have nothing bad to say about it. Um, it is a girl knife for me, truly, seriously. Uh, girl knives can be any price. They can be fifty bucks. They can be three hundred and fifty. They can be a thousand. This is a girl knife for me, and I'm so happy to have it. Um, so let me know what you guys think of the Jack Wolf knife. Jack with knives, Gunslinger Jack, and be ready at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. These guys are going to be available, and they are going fast. March 15th, that is. Let me know what you guys think of the good Jack with knives, Gunslinger Jack. Really hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and until the next one, I'm out.